I want to turn now to the story that has really made our day, day frankly, our week. A nine-year-old Florida girl got the surprise of her life last week. She was doing a spelling bee at school, and Skylar Johnson was given the word sergeant. Well, she got it right, and then her teacher asked, do you know any sergeants? That's where her dad comes in. My dad? Your dad? Today, boys and girls, we have a very special sergeant here at Skylar. Staff Sergeant Theron Johnson has been on duty in southern Iraq. He hadn't seen his daughter since Christmas, and she was not expecting him. And as you can tell, joining us now, Sergeant Johnson, Skyler, and also Skyler's brother, Christian. It's great to have all of you with us this morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Uh, Sergeant, I, I want to start with you. You really did some advanced planning on this one, going so far as to change the date that you told your kids that you would be home, correct? Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of messed up and told him I was going to be home at the end of September, which is which was correct, but because of the the spelling bee thing that we created, I had to change it and tell him, you know, something different. So, so it, it worked out. So Skyler, <laughs> when you initially heard from your dad that he wasn't going to be home as early as you thought, that must have been pretty tough news to get. Yeah, I kind of cried after that after I got off the phone. Do you think it was Did worth you? it now? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So take us back. You spelled the word sergeant perfectly, Skylar. No big surprise there probably to your dad or even to your teacher. But when you realized that it was your dad there on the stage, um, if you can, tell us what that was like for you. What was it like to have your dad hug you? Well, it was amazing. Like, you can't even describe it. Did it feel real? <laughs> yes, very real. What about you, Sergeant? Did it feel real to you? Oh, yeah. I couldn't wait. I was behind the curtain, and uh, I kept feeling my cue, and I was telling the lady that was operating the curtain, one of their assistants there, a con, I was like, open the curtain, open the curtain. I'm ready. <laughs> you know, I, She was only like three feet in front of me, and you know, we were that close, but the curtain separated us, and she didn't even know. What a fantastic <laughs> surprise. Now, Christian, you're, if I'm correct, you're at a different school, but you got a little surprise of your own, right? Uh, yes. Um, they told me I was going to early dismissal, and I didn't know what I was going to do, so I walked up to the stage, and I saw my dad in his uniform with my sister. So what was that like for you when you realized Dad was home early and he came to surprise you? I felt like it was a dream that came to real life. So you guys have had, uh, you've had some nice time together, and I know you have a few more days, sir, before you, uh, you have to go back. What have you been up to? Oh, uh, we're at Disney. Disney World. Not so bad to come home and take them to Disney. <laughs> it's been a really fun time. This may be a tough one, tough one for you to, to top, Sergeant Johnson. Are you going to continue the surprises you think next time you come home? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I guess I'll expect it next time because, you know, uh, I, I doubt I could top this. It's, it's really come unexpected form, and the way I, <clears throat> the way they, uh, Mr. Roberts and Mr. Riopelle changed everything there at Boca Raton Elementary. They made it a really special moment. Well, they really, they, so they actually helped you put this moment together. In fact, it, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but they actually staged the spelling bee in many ways so that you could do this with Skylar. Yes, it, it, was, it was exactly what was staged. I, I contacted them a month before I came back to let them know, and then we worked it all. We had a month to do it, so it was plenty of time to plan, and, and it worked out. It was very special. I mean, it, I, Little Dot realized it was going to be the feel-good story of the week, I guess is what people are calling it. <laughs> well, I mean, it really is. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's always, always does someone's heart good to see a reunion of one of, our, <laughs> one of our members in the military with their kids. But, boy, you really, uh, you really talked a lot of them. Sergeant, thank you very much for being with us, and thank you for your service, sir. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you. All right, you guys, enjoy your few days with your dad, and uh, give him lots of hugs to take back with him. We know you'll have more when he gets home next time. Thanks again. Thank okay, you very thank much. You. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>
It says Aaron and Aubrey Shipman. And Mommy Shipman. And Mommy Shipman. Open the box. What are you girls doing? Three very good players tonight. They all won a lot of money. Congratulations. And we're using you folks to let everyone know that in addition to all the money and prizes, everyone's getting a Sony tablet oh, this nice. week. So there you go. Who plays this week? There's yours. Oh, they only gave me two. I'm sorry, Mary. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Uh, do we have any do we have another gift for Mary? Uh, okay. <laughs> Major Andrew Wigger, fresh from Afghanistan. I don't think I'm going to try to break this up. Can I, can I intrude? Hi. You like this better? Yes. Uh, welcome home. It's great to see you from Afghanistan. Uh, and it's been how long since you've seen each other? I saw him in July for two weeks, but it's yeah. been a year. Wow. Well, don't talk to me. Hug the guy. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. So, uh, Emotional consideration provided by. This Hi, is Daddy. Separate. Hello. Where are you coming from? So here we are yep. in uh, Miller Place, Pasteria. I just got off my flight at uh, MacArthur, coming from El Paso, but before that, Djibouti. Uh, I haven't seen Brittany or Jasper or Abel for the first time, for that matter, since before I deployed. So. Uh, at this time, so they're going to bring me some, a dessert, and I'm going to bring it over to Jasper, and they're going to be like, oh, did a Mr. Jasper James order an ice cream? And it's going to be one of those moments where, like, you know, so pretty exciting. I'm, I'm pretty pumped up. I was dancing in the car before I got here. So. Yeah, that's where we are. Jasper, you wait. Jasper, you wait. Hold your Mr. Jasper James order an ice cream. Here you go. What's up? Video again. 
Yeah, I just hold the button. Yeah, it just it's it's recording. Hi. Does Lisa say hi? Yeah. All right, we are on our way to surprise Nick and Dan. They do not know that Charlie is back from Afghanistan. He got back yesterday afternoon. That looks like Dan. Oh, yeah, y'all need to slow down a little bit. Wait, come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, I thought I heard him. He knows the whistle. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> Where's Dano? Somewhere inside me. Go get your stuff. You're out of here. Where are you going to there? Don't, Charlie, sorry. Sorry. He's right there. Yeah, yeah. He's right there. Yeah, yeah. He's right there. Listen, Charlie.
See if I can get her reaction. Oh, wait! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! You left Grandpa. He sent you a big present. Come here. Look. Yeah, you better open it up. Here, I'll hold your. You open it up. Is it just a book? Nope, it's a big, big present. I think this is one of the scissors that I put them over there. Hold on. Good boy. What do you think it is? No. Should we open it up and see? Yeah. It's a desk. It's not. Okay, hold on. Okay, pull the flaps open. Pull these open. Pull them hard. Daddy! <laughs> Hi! Hey! <laughs> I set my...